Welcome to Cinema Express. So Robert Eggers just dropped the trailer to Nosfera 2 and uh, that's what we're going to be reacting to on this episode of Express Reacts. Uh, let's watch the trailer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> The pigeon, Who I'm sold. You, my child. It's a Aaron Tyler Johnson. We are here encountering the vampire. See, I like the fact that we uh, don't get a very good look of Nosferatu. Correct. He's, he's, Correct. He's, he's, he's shrouded in the shadows. Mm. And mm. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, what it's, do you think? It's really good. See, I've, I've seen the original 1920s uh, Nosferatu. 1922. 1922 version. Nosferatu. Mm. I've seen it. Uh, and like, it's a silent film, right? There is, and, there is and a nod to that film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. It, it, it the, towards the end where we see... The shadows the, creeping up. Yeah, the yeah, shadows yeah. creeping that's up. A, that's an iconic shot in mm -hmm. the, uh, the original mm -hmm. film where like you see Nosferatu only through shadows. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, yeah. You it's still there on, on YouTube uh, with the caption, the scariest yep. ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it's scary, the old one. Maybe for its time, it's, it's scary. Creepy. But it's, it's, yeah, it's very creep creepy. But, very creepy. But uh, see, as you know, Nosferatu is uh, in inspired from Bram Stoker's mm -hmm. Dracula. Mm -hmm. And from this trailer... Unofficially... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an unofficial adaptation of Dracula. Mm. But the main difference between Dracula and Nosferatu is that mm. Dracula is supposed to be charming. <laughs> he's a, yeah, he he's kind of a seducer. He seduces women. Correct, correct, and um, uh, but Nosferatu is not that. He's not charming. And <laughs> he's, he's 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 a straight up like uh, he's gruesome. He's he's a monster. Mm. And uh, and the thing is, have you seen Bram Sto uh, Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula? Yes, yes, yes. So. This trailer does kind of remind. Yes, yes, especially yes. Especially the yes. first image itself, you are thinking of Winona Ryder in mm. that garden-like place. Yeah, yeah, right. And she's dreaming. See the the way they show the uh, Nosferatu's castle and everything. Mm. The way they pan in on the Correct. you know the, the the eerie setting of the place. Mm, mm. That is very reminiscent of uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula mm. and mm. Dracula in general. But uh, that has powerful image. Mm. Uh, yeah. the, the the film has powerful uh, you know visual mm. language mm. and this uh, reminded me of that film. Yeah. And uh, what else did you pick on? Like what else did you like about this trailer? The f the thing about not showing. Not, oh, yeah, yeah, your yeah. Card, not playing your card right itself. That's one of the oldest tricks in the horror, yeah, yeah, horror yeah. playbook, right? Don't show the ghost. Yeah. So that's really... We know that Bill, it's Bill Scott's card. Mm. And it's going to be interesting to see how he will play this version. I think this is one of the rare occasions where a very young actor will play such an older... Uh, at least in the Nosferatu universe, right? Okay. Maybe uh, Claude... Claude Kinski, right? He played... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I think he played a version of Nosferatu, he, right? Yeah, he yeah. was very young at the time. I don't remember that. Willem Dafoe also played a version Correct. of Nosferatu, Correct. but it's not exactly Nosferatu. Which is an irony. Yeah, 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 yeah. He played a, he, he played an actor playing Nosferatu, I think, right? Yes, yeah. yes. So, he played a theatre actor playing Nosferatu. Yeah, yeah, Nosferatu. yeah. yeah. Uh, that film was about the original Nosferatu film. Mm, uh, the making. So, yeah. Uh, the thing is, uh, the one thing I like about... See, I'm a fan of Robert Eggers. Mm. I've been following his work since The Witch. Mm. And I like The Witch. And I liked uh, The Northman. Mm. Uh, and I liked... Uh, the, the lighthouse the as lighthouse. well. Mm. Uh, so he never uh, like 
he never pulls back when it comes to creepy stuff. Uh, I love that little shot where uh, someone bites the head off a pigeon. Uh, who's doing it? I don't remember the actor. It's there from the novels, right? The Dracula novel. I, I don't know. Uh, Dracula, in the original Bram Stoker novel, he does a lot of creepy stuff. It's interesting because uh, <laughs> in terms of the character, he, he doesn't create other vampires. No, that's a myth that was later developed, I as, think. As yeah, opposed yeah, yeah. to Dracula. Dracula creates other vampires, Nosferatu oh, Okay, talking right? about Nosferatu. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nosferatu uh, I don't think Nos- Nosferatu right? just straight up kills people, I think. So, the guy eating the bird, maybe uh, it's a reinterpretation of Vegas, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, uh, so, I guess it's not just Nosferatu who, mm. uh, who's the, who plays the antagonist, I think. There are other occultists, probably, I think. Probably. There are some occult elements in there, which is really good. And... Uh, yeah, man, it's it, it it's, like it's good. It's and maybe this is it's just not just a slow burn, right? Yeah. As opposed to which which was a lot of it was very slow. Yeah, yeah. And it's the silence that's scary. Maybe in this it's not just a slow burn thing. The music it's is amazing. Yeah, also, the music is really good. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, like like like. Uh, in, in the original film, mm. uh, there is also Van Helsing there. Uh, mm. So, he's, mm. he hunts down Osferatu and uh, 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 I, I'm not, I, I think that's what uh, Willem Dafoe is playing here. Or maybe the, the, not just, maybe not Van Helsing, there's another character in that universe, right? Which character? Who's, who is uh, dealing with Dracula. Okay. No, see... Uh, is it Van Helsing? Maybe, maybe it's, it's a Van Helsing-ish Helsing. character. Yes. That's what I'm trying yes, to say. Yes, I think that's yes. the character Willem Dafoe will be playing. Mm-hmm. I think Willem Dafoe's character will uh, help bring down Osfera to or uh, however There is goes. that bit in the trailer where he's, he's stabbing something. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's where he drives a stake through someone's heart. I it, don't know. Yeah, I mean, it recognizes that we are aware of the universe. See, in, in Francis Ford Coppola's interpre- interpretation of Dracula, mm-hmm. The Dracula is made as a, uh, uh, like, you kind of empathize with him, mm. even though he does gruesome stuff. Mm. You kind of have some empathy for him. Mm. He's, a, he's a miserable character. He's lost mm. the love of his life. Mm. And he thinks Winona Ryder is the reincarnation of his love. So you uh, kind of, like, like him a little bit. But I think here Nosferatu is just uh, a bad guy. I don't think, like... Uh, I also don't think they should make us empathize with him because um, let me digress a little bit. Uh, the one thing I liked about Godzilla minus one is the fact that mm-hmm. they didn't make Godzilla an empathetic yeah, yeah. creature. The uh, the Godzilla wasn't trying to protect his babies or save the environment <laughs> or anything. He's just a straight up killer. He's just like uh, he's just destroying towns, mm-hmm. cities, left and right. Okay, so uh, this kind of simplistic uh, interpretation needs to make a comeback. I think I think this is the right way to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it'll be awesome if Nosferatu is just a uh, uh, really like like you know dark character mm. and mm. he's not doing it because he's he's in love or uh, something like that <laughs> i think you you, uh, you just i just need nosfera to be scary that's all it will be very scary i think so yeah it's very hard right it's very hard to get a make a really good horror film that's also very scary mm. and it it varies from person to person for instance i i remember watching it follows mm. I found it really intriguing. Hmm. The world building is so amazing, but it wasn't scary for me, for some reason. Same, same, same. I felt the same too. I really liked the film, I, but I, I didn't... the film. Yeah, yeah, exactly, but exactly. When you recommend a horror film to an audience, yeah. hey, go watch this film, yeah, yeah. you have to say, this is scary. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, where is your cell? Yeah. Right? You can't say it's a good film, but then you won't be scared. Now, then what's the point of going to a horror <laughs> correct, movie? I don't correct, know. Correct. But this film, I think, I, I really want the uh, uh, eeriness to be amped up a little bit. And I think uh, it delivers. I, I really like the mm-hmm. trailer. I think, uh, yeah, tell us what you think about the trailer in the comments. And uh, tell us what you like about the trailer.